Hi, I'm Wombat Friends. Today I'm going to read Elma, written by David McKee. There was once a herd of elephants, elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, or fat, or thin. Elephants like this, that, or the other, all different, but all happy and all the same colour. All, that is, except Elma. Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was yellow, orange, red, pink, purple, and blue, and green, and black, and white. Elma was not elephant colour. It was Elmer who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants and sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a slight little smile, it was usually Elmer who started it. One night, Elmer couldn't sleep for thinking and the think that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant? Have you? No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elma slipped quietly away, unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Elma met other animals. They always said, Good morning, Elma. Each time, Elma smiled and said, Good morning. After a long walk, Elma found what he was looking for. A large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bu bush covered with elephant-coloured berries. Elma caught hold of the bush and shook it. Shook it so hard that the berries fell on the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Elma lay down and rolled over and over this way and that way and back again. Then he picked up bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elma looked like any other elephant. After that, Elma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time, Elma smiled and said, Good morning, pleased that he wasn't recognised. When Elma rejoined the other animals, Elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Elmer as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. After a while, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old bright sky. And same old rain clouds. They came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. And Elma looked at them. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Elma had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! And the elephants jumped and fell always in surprise. Oh my gosh, they said. And then saw Elmer helpless with laughter. Elmer, they said. It must be Elmer. 
Then the other elephants laughed too, and they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst, and when the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant. You've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Elmer's day and all elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know it was Elma. The end. Would you like to make an Elma with me today?